slight leg reach advantage there for Ray Cooper the third. Slight arm reach advantage for David Michaud, who is two inches taller. He's five years older. And both of these guys, similar stylistically. Good wrestlers with very heavy hands. Absolutely. It's going to be a hard one. Do not blink. I hope you already took your bathroom break. Lillian Garcia gets the welterweight title bout started. This next battle for the world title belt at one million dollars is in the welterweight division. This is brought to you by Real Time Pain Relief. Real time it and knock out your pain. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a boxer standing at five feet, seven inches tall. He weighs in officially at 169 pounds. In 27 professional fights, he has a record of 19 victories, seven defeats, one draw, with 13 wins by knockout. He is the number six seed, fighting out of Pearl City, Hawaii. Here is Brada Ray Cooper. His opponent, fighting out of the red corner. His specialty is in wrestling and boxing. Standing at five feet nine, weighing in officially at 170 pounds. In 23 professional fights, he has a record of 18 victories and five defeats with 14 wins by stoppage. He is the number five seed, fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona. Here is David the Bulldog Machado. Your referee in charge, Keith Peterson. Keith Peterson will at least attempt to regulate the ferocity inside of this welterweight cage. Ray Cooper the third, his second trip to the finals in the gray trunks. David Michaud in the red and blue. Flying the attempt and Ray Cooper tries to catch an airborne David Michaud with the left hand. Oh, he was punching his feed bag there. No surprise already. Some heavy exchanges. Big punches thrown. Hook lands there from the shot. Ray Cooper grabs a clinch. Body lock here from Ray Cooper the third. Both of these guys excellent wrestlers. Cooper had an opportunity to wrestle in college. David Michaud did wrestle in college at South Dakota State University. He was also on the football team as a fullback, two-sport athlete in college. Interesting development here. Ray Cooper, the third, is uh, he's fighting for a takedown here. There's his dad, Ray Cooper Jr., an accomplished fighter himself, Hawaiian legend. His brothers Blake and Makoa also in the corner. Both of them undefeated mixed martial artists in their own right. Double under hooks here for Ray Cooper. He's trying to find a way to pull David Michaud's legs out from under him. Now he changes level, slides by. Now he's trying to sweep. He's chain wrestling here, one after the other. That's high level wrestling. And high level defense from David Michaud, who does not go down. Body lock now by Michaud. He's trying to trade places with Cooper. Put Cooper against the fence. Cooper watching the monitor, excuse me, Michaud watching the monitor here on the wall of the Hulu Theater as the fight is progressing. Very interesting. And we were talking about what we thought the strategies would be in this fight. Oh, Randy. Michaud's hurt. Something happened. He, he grimaced as he went down there. A I'm not sure it was maybe. a calf kick or a big or right hand from the top. David Michaud still grimacing there on the bottom. We'll have to catch a replay and try and figure out exactly what that was. Now Ray Cooper the third, sitting in sort of a three-quarter guard here as uh, David Michaud's got a butterfly in. Trying to isolate that left arm of Ray Cooper the third. It looked like Cooper might have tried a foot sweep, but his heel either rolled the ankle up or hit Michaud directly on the calf, and that's what hurt as it went down. First round halfway gone. As I was saying, we were sort of debating what the strategies might be, and I thought that what Ray Cooper the third just did would be what David Michaud would try and do. Press it against the cage, try and take some of the steam off of Ray's punches. 
But here we are now with Ray Cooper initiating some wrestling and successfully so far on top. And Michaud said that in the, in the interview, that he wanted to fight from the clinch. He felt like he had some advantages and some things from the clinch that he could do to take advantage of Ray Cooper. Shot hanging out, calm. Ray Cooper trying to pressure with his left shoulder into the neck. Perhaps set up that shoulder choke. Nothing doing so far. More left hands from the top for Ray Cooper the third. Crowd representative of Pearl City, Hawaii. Shot on the bottom from South Dakota. Fighting now at an MMA lab in Phoenix. Nice top control and pressure here for Ray Cooper the third. Whatever it was that maybe caused some pain for David hey, Michaud, nothing great, registering right here, on his David face now. Seems to have passed. Whatever it was, it hurt him for a second, but it, it passed. I did too. As long as I... Crossroads right there. Still pinned to the mat here in round number one, 40 seconds remaining. Last year, Ray Cooper found himself on the bottom in the first round, a little reversal of fortunes here. Always feels a little less fatiguing to be on top on the bottom, at least uh, on top when you're on the ground, at least for me. Yeah, I, I think that's true. I think the person the guy in the bottom can react to you for the most part. And... Ray Cooper the third inside of 10 seconds looking to set up that shoulder choke. He'll finish the round on top. And here in the clinch, it looks like Ray Cooper the third digs a knee right up into the liver of David Michaud. And we saw Michaud's first fight of the year with Saddam C. He got kicked in the liver and dropped. Sir, you ready? So he was, Sir, he was you lucky, ready? he recovered there. He seems to be in full steam again. Good recovery by Michaud. Nice knee snuck in there from short distance by Ray Cooper the third. Sean O'Connell and Randy Couture here at cage side. Welterweight title belt underway inside of our PFL Smart Cage. Ray Cooper the third in the gray trunks, David Michaud in the blue, looking for a wizard here. His heavy exchange is leading to fierce wrestling back and forth, Randy. Absolutely. Cooper in on the single, Michaud wizards, tries to hit him over. Cooper recovers, comes up with a left hook. Nice exchange off of their wrestling. Randy's a multiple time champ. I'm just the one time champ from last year. And we're joined now on the analyst desk by another champ champ, Henry Cejudo, kind enough to sit down with us. Henry. You guys, you guys have the best seat in the house. That's uh, <laughs> spoiled brats. <laughs> That's right. It's not a real job, Henry. What do you think of these welterweights so far? I mean, it's a scrap. These guys are, it's, you know, they're both kind of rugged, but they both, it seems like they both fight more on, uh, on heart and instinct. And sometimes fighters like that are the toughest guys to fight. Cooper tries to run the pipe on a single. Where's the left hand on the exit there? Oh, nice knees by Michaud, right up the middle. Ray Cooper in a little bit of trouble here. Wings oh, up. Oh, big right, right hand from Michaud. Cooper bit back down on a single leg. David Michaud landing some big punches there. And that's why we saw David, excuse me, Ray Cooper III get in trouble against John Howard. Maybe finds himself a moment of reprieve with this takedown, Randy. He got clipped twice there. He did, and it looked like it, it hurt him a little bit. You saw that look in his eye, that flash for a second. That's that rugged style you're talking about, Henry. On the exchanges, the ins and the outs, winging big punches, you gotta have the defense up. That's exactly what I'm saying, is this, these guys are creating these uh, these scrambles with their fist, you know, to, to eventually get into a takedown. So fights like these are these are literally like scraps, you know what I mean? Like they're like they're um, you know the word fight scraps, you know, not scraps, but fight scraps. I don't want these dudes to come out and kill me. Rugged. 
hammer fist there from David Michaud. Cooper, the third, runs the pipe, drags Michaud down. Michaud trying to control hands, get, find a way back to his feet. Back up, he's gonna whiz her over now. There's another knee to the body, yeah. Michaud returns the favor. Oh, another oh, body shot! Oh, he shot body shot that hurt him. Once again! His shot is hurt, there it is! Cooper the third! Power down, David Michaud! Drops him with a body shot! Finishes with grab and pound! And redemption for Brenna! Wow, that was the second time he caught him with that. We heard him early in the first round. Yeah, with that knee. Yeah. Yeah. Right that knee in. Went back out. Those who have never been hit with body shots. That is the living worst. That's the worst punch you could ever get hit with to the, to the body. Yeah. Any fighter will tell you they'd rather take one to the jaw than one to the liver. Absolutely. And we saw right there that is definitely true of David Michaud. He is a tough guy, but perhaps his kryptonite, Randy, at least in this season of Professional Fighters League action, was that liver. He got softened it up a little bit in the first round with a knee in the clinch. And then he got into that little bit of a scramble and as Ray Cooper third come up, he dug into that body with that left hand. And boy, he, he saw it immediately for David Michaud. Ray Cooper the third makes good on the promise that he'd get back here and he would change the outcome on New Year's Eve 2019. We'll come back with the check, the belt, and new champion when we return on ESPN2. Take a look at our Cajunomics final fight stats for this welterweight championship bout. Two takedowns for Ray Cooper, third. Eight for eight on the ground strikes. That's where this fight ended. And those total strikes, at least a couple dug to the liver, to the body, which proved to be the big difference in this bout. It was not without drama, though. There's David Michaud landing a nice right hand just behind the ear, a couple of knees to the body. One sneaks up to the chin of Ray Cooper. Michaud putting in some work here, putting Ray Cooper the third in some significant trouble. There's another right hand, almost dropped the Hawaiian. He was able to recover. Big shot to the liver. And there's that classic delayed reaction. David Michaud crumples into a heap. Ray Cooper makes it a formality with a couple of rights, a couple of lefts. Good night, Irene. New champion from Oahu and Pearl City, Ray Cooper III. Keith Peterson, great job there on top of the action. Those body shots digging into the liver of David Michaud. Impressive performance. This is a man who was here a year ago as he hugs Ray Cooper Jr., his father, who passed on the fight legacy to his son. He made it here a year ago. He did not take home the belt. He was not successful in the million dollar run. He promised he'd be back here. And a 26.6 mile per hour punch to the liver is part of the reason he got there. Those are our fastest strikes of the night, presented by Real Time Pain Relief. Lillian Garcia crowns a welterweight champion inside the BFL cage. Ladies and gentlemen, the stoppage comes officially at two minutes and 56 seconds into round number two. By TKO, here is your winner of million dollars and the new 2019 PFL welterweight champion of the world, Ray Cooper. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the belt. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the belt of the 155 pound division, world champion in the heavyweight division, Mike Tyson. <laughs> and our CEO for the Professional Fighters League, presenting the hound of the million dollar check, Pete Murray. Ray, so close last year.
A couple bumps in the road, John Howard, early in the regular season, and here we are with a belt and a check, buddy. Tell me what's going through your mind. Uh, I just want to give praise and thanks to the Father in heaven, Lord Jesus Christ. Give me this opportunity. I love him. And my wife, my kids, my mom, my dad, my brothers, my cousin, all my family here, and my family back home. I love all you guys, Granny, Mama, Papa Joe, Papa, Papa Kai, and the Kim, Uncle Ron, Uncle Matt, Uncle Shawty, the Sissy, and the Crystal. I love you guys. Hi, Auntie Gurley. I love all you guys. I just love everybody here. Thank you to um, Pete Murray, Don Davis, Ray Seffel. Give me the opportunity. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Tell me about this fight coming in. You knew David Michaud was a, a very, very tough opponent, in some ways a mirror image of yourself. How did you think this was going to go down, and did it go down how you thought it was going to happen? Yeah, um, we, we did what we said we was going to do. We was going to get into one fight, and that's not a real fight. None of this playing around on the ground. We both showing leather, trying to knock each other out. That's the name of the game. It's not, it's not a point fighting fight. It's just MMA. We got to mix them up. And uh, me and David did uh, a hell of a job. Uh, much respect to David. He's on tough bugger, but sorry for my language. So we talking the islands, Pigeon style. But just thank you. Thank, thank you to everybody. I love all you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, 155-pound champion in the Professional Fighters League, Ray Cooper III. 170-pound champion, Ray Cooper III. I don't know if you could cut all the way to 155. I want to thank the champ champ, Henry Cejudo, for being kind enough to sit down with us, help out with a little fight analysis on that. Yeah. Get ready. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Be intimate, that ain't cool. Nah.